Hello again. Today we're going to be talking about how to model behavior that is periodic in nature. What are periodic functions? Well, they are functions that take on two forms. They can either have a cosine function in them, um, which is represented by this graph at the right. Now, what happens with a cosine function is when you are at the y-axis, the graph is at its highest point, its maximum point. And then as you move to the right, the graph continues downward from there and then comes back up. Um, if you use a sine function instead, then when you are at the y-axis, the graph is kind of at its middle point, its average uh, y value. And once you leave the y-axis and move to the right, then the graph goes up and then it goes back down. Uh, but it starts at the middle y value from the entire graph. So the D that you see in both of those equations is represented by the principal axis. So we would need to find what that uh, y value is that cuts through each of those graphs right at the halfway point. A is going to represent the amplitude, and what that is is the vertical distance from the principal axis to the highest point on the graph. And then if we want to find the B value, we would need to find the period of the graph. And the period of the graph is just the horizontal distance between any two consecutive maximum points. Um, it's basically how long it takes the graph to cycle one complete time. So 360 divided by B is the period, but if I wanted to know what B was, I would take 360 and divide it by the period instead. So here's an example. We have a passenger on the London Eye, and his height on that ride is going to be modeled by that graph and that function. H equals 60 times the cosine of 12t degrees plus 75. So what is the height of the passenger after five minutes? That's the first part of the question. And then we will also need to find the minimum height of the ride and the time the passenger takes to get there. So there's my function again. I just copied it so that we could answer the first part. Well, when t equals five, that 12t gets replaced with 12 times five, which is 60 degrees. The cosine of 60 degrees is one half, so I'm going to make that replacement. And so now I know that my height is going to be 60 times one half plus 75, and that is 105. So I know that the point 5, 105 is on my graph. The minimum height is going to be the principal axis D minus my amplitude. So I need to figure out what both of those are. Um, but just by looking at the curve, remember where D is and where A is. D is that 75 that's being added onto the end, and 60 is that uh, number that is being multiplied out front. So I subtract those numbers and I get 15. So the passenger reaches the minimum height after 15 minutes. Okay. So here's an example of temperatures in Dallas, Texas in 2019, and they are modeled by this curve right here. Negative 20 times the cosine of 30t degrees plus 77, where t is in degrees Fahrenheit and little t is the number of months after January 2019. So what was the high temperature for May? And we need to find the highest temperature and the month in which it occurred. So there's my function again. May is the fourth month after January, so t is going to equal four. So when t is equal to four, that 30t is going to be replaced with 120 degrees. And so the uh, temperature for that month is going to be 87 degrees. Now the maximum temperature is going to be my principal axis plus my amplitude, and that is going to be 77 plus 20, which is 97. Remember, 77 is my D, so it's what's added at the end of the function, and um, 20 is going to be my amplitude. I kind of take the absolute value of that because I know that my maximum is going to be higher than 77, not lower than 77. All right, so that happens when T equals six. And so the month that is six months after January is going to be July. So the high of 97 is going to happen in July. So those are just two examples of uh, how to find certain data points if you have a periodic model. Um, if you have any questions about that, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.